I'm here with Violet after a pretty successful first half. Not The job is not entirely done yet. We still need to play a couple of matches, of course, during the midseason. But so far, it's been a pretty big, uh, good performance by the Outlaws and by Violet, of course. But we want to start chronologically. So you came very close to winning your third title. Then you missed it by one map. Were you sad after? And what did you do after the Grand Finals? Okay, so obviously losing by just one map, um, it made him feel bad. Uh, but on the other hand, also to be able to show off like one of the best finals ever in Overwatch League, I think I think um, it was a good experience. But at the end of the day, uh, yeah, losing by one map hurts. For sure. Now, immediately after, you had to make a tough decision. You've been uh, with the San Francisco Shock for all of your Overwatch League career. And then you made the decision to leave them, or rather you came uh, to the decision with them. Why did you decide to leave the Shock at that point? And was it a hard decision? Okay, so obviously there are going to be a lot of mixed reasons. But um, last year, uh, as a veteran and a guy who's been in the team for a long time, um, he also uh, gave a lot, um, expected a lot from the new players and the dynamic between the new players and him. It, it felt like maybe it, it didn't work out as good as ho he hoped. So maybe just um, being in a new environment will be beneficial for both parties. Um, and, and him going to a new environment can also help him find a new uh, culture or stride that fits him. For sure. They are kind of struggling right now, and you played them, and you also beat them. Do you feel bad for them and how it's going for them? Um, so it's, it's in the end, uh, it's a mixed feeling. Obviously, if the team that he leaves starts doing bad, um, part of him is gonna uh, feel like um, good, I guess. I can't, yeah, the good. But also, at the end of the day, his old teammates are there, so uh, he'll feel bad if when they're struggling as well. What do you think their problem is right now? Okay. Um, the biggest might be that they're young players. Um, they are, you can say they are experienced from playing contenders and winning contenders and such, but maybe they're not as experienced um, solving problems when they actually face a issues. Makes sense, yeah. Now, then you had to make the decision uh, to join a new team, and you decided to join the Outlaws. So, why did you decide for the Outlaws? And did you know teaming up with uh, your old coach Junkbuck? Does it did that make a uh, difference? Okay, so yeah, um, having me, Junkbuck, did make a difference. Um, he, he, he used to joke about uh, joining in Junkbuck, me, when uh, uh, last year or something, if you were to leave the teams and things like that. But when the when he actually left Shock, um, he was the one of the uh, people he contacted for sure. And even when joining with me also made him feel like it is, even if it's a very a brand new team, there there is a, some sense of familiar feeling. Um, he he what he he described it as um, having a shock blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Now, did you have any input in who the your teammates would be? So he didn't he didn't have that much input. Um, he was actually one of the last people to join the team along with Gorgoyle. So I guess in a sense he kind of did with Gorgoyle, but in the end there's not that much not that much input. Yeah. Now, how did you 
guys prepare for the pro am did you care about it and were you sad losing against the gladiators um so pro am uh, um he didn't he didn't care that much actually in the beginning but at the end of the day it still has some price for um and so um, winning winning it is a tournament so winning tournaments in the end could mean that we could win the whole thing too uh, so uh in the end he actually wanted to win and but uh he is sad he was sad that we lost to the gladiators he thought we wouldn't lose to gladiators yeah because you were so much better <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> sure now that's I mean, in essence, it's true. You're sitting at 7-1. You so far only lost to, to the Atlanta Reign. How satisfied are you with your performance so far? So, uh, other than Pelican, every every player is very new to the team. So, uh, in the beginning, there's always going to be difficulties in making a good uh, team coordination. And, yeah, and, and so he thought that in the beginning, we might have a hard time but uh for, for us to be in this um good start he is somewhat satisfied yeah. do you think you can bring it back if you meet uh atlanta again yeah i think i can beat atlanta 거의 한 95% 확실히 오케이 발레레 쉘 95% that will be able to beat them the next time we play them. Sweet. Now there are some interesting uh, ways you guys play the game, and one of the bigger ones is that you guys are playing a ton of Kiriko in comparison to the league average, and you are also an outstanding performer on the hero. So. Is it because you think Kiriko is strong, or is it because Vile is strong on Kiriko? Um, Kiriko is a very strong hero if you're good at her. So, in a way, because th that that means I am because I am good. That Kiriko is good. Uh, uh, Kiriko in general is a good hero for playing against a lot of different comps. So, like uh, in Koth or playing against all these other comps that comes up comes out in the cough like ram or queen or whatever or uh, in general the queen is uh, uh, uh the kiriko is good at dealing multiple comps sure now we had a winston met yeah it's not really a winston meta but there was a lot of winston that could be played how does it feel to be the one that you know supports fearless instead of having to play against him okay um it is it is a we feel blessed and lucky that we are we get to i get to be playing with fearless last year uh, uh i lost to fearless to to fearless but to be playing him playing with me um maybe maybe it didn't hit me yet but but it is uh very good it feels very good sweet then thank you for the interview